Hey, Randy. Nice, nice to, to see, see you. you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. What a pleasure to be here in Tulare. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now tell us a little bit about what you do and why are we here at this time? Well, I'm the president here of Adventist Health Tulare. And today, obviously, we're providing some free services to the community with the, uh, the um, sponsorship of Life Hope Centers and the uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church. You Just know, this is unique, actually. When you think of a medical center, people come in, they yes. have to pay for the services. Yeah. So what is this about free services in a medical center parking lot? That, that's unique, isn't it? It's very unique, and it's, it's right up our alley in terms of what our mission is. So the mission of Adventist Health is living God's love by inspiring health, wholeness, and hope. And that extends outside the walls of our hospital to events like this. Adventist Health is just doing a small part really to help support the, the efforts of the church here. Today we have two chairs for dental hygienists. I have five dental hygienists here today. They're eager to work, but we just don't have the equipment for them. I have eight dentists here today and only have four chairs. We need more equipment. We need more opportunity to reach out into our communities. And I am just so thankful to you, to Adventist Health for the donation that we just received that are gonna allow us to actually expand four additional chairs. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, Randy, about the, the employees that are yeah. here today. We've had a lot of volunteers, um, employees that have come to do a variety of different things all giving of their time and, and understanding that this is an important effort on behalf of everyone here in this community to really serve those that don't get the care they need otherwise. As vascular specialists in the area, we are so proud and happy of our partnership with the Adventists because it's events like this that really put us close with our community. That these services are services that they can have without going far away, that they don't need to worry about problems that they have in getting to a doctor that the doctor in the hospital can come to them. Well, this was my first time, but I've had an infection in my tooth, uh, but I'm very numb and it wasn't very painful. It just, it was a tough one. They had to cut it in half, and, but they got it. So I'm very grateful. This is huge, what you're doing Thank for you. people. I really appreciate it. Wherever we go, we were in Bakersfield, we were in Hollister, we were in Mountain View, Clovis, Visalia, and wherever we are, it's a very rewarding experience wow. for me as a dentist. And these people come in with problems in their teeth and we're able to bring relief to them and they leave with a smile, it's a great help. And she said, well, not only was I taken care of physically, but I was taken care of spiritually as well with everybody here. And then she said, not only that, not only was, was that, you know, good, but she said just being here with other people that are going through the same thing was like a, a feeling of community for me. So I thought that was really special. And it's been six years since I could afford new glasses. I want you to know, under this rooftop, I feel that the people that are working here to provide this service fed me physically with the glasses, but spiritually. There's a great need to be able to duplicate yes. this uh, mobile footprint. And we were talking about the fact, you, you asked the question, well, how much does it cost to, right. to, to put this on or to get the equipment to yep. get it started? Well, it was a half a million dollars. And immediately we said, okay, we need another set, right? Yep. So we need another half, half a million, million dollars. dollars. Yeah. Because we've already done about 42 of these throughout the 17 county territory, the Central California Conference, but we just can't handle the demand. The demand is great. Yes. So we need another another unit to be able to travel around, be able to do double the coverage. By the end of this month, we will be booked up up to 2021. 2019 is booked. 2020 is booked.
I think the biggest impact that it's having on our local congregation, it's the call to action. It's the call to get up out of our pews mm -hmm. and to go out and take the truths that we've learned over the years and take it out to the people of our community. It satisfies my heart. Um, I feel like that's what I was created for, was to serve. It's been very rewarding to me. Uh, it's a blessing to me to see others in need and their expression of gratitude and uh, tears in their eyes that they can't believe what we were doing for them. You know, there's so many things that we can be doing, right? Either, you know, family and uh, just watching TV or anything else, right? You, you can spend your time doing that. But uh, to me, it was like, it was worth being here helping. Come volunteer because this will be an experience you have never experienced in your life and, and this will be good for you. You know, you're not professional and you're just willing to help. There's, uh, there's work everywhere that we can make a difference.